Welcome, my friends. We are live here on Facebook. Good morning. Things are uh, running smoother and smoother as I work my double camera setup. One's over here. Well, right there. Actually, the cameras are so close together, it looks like one camera. I'm looking right at both cameras at the same same time. Uh, uh, Tim McDougall, what's up? Craig Casey, good morning, guys. Welcome, welcome, Jerry. Uh, a good episode today, episode 281. I'm going to be, uh, in the future, a little less concerned with our the number of our episodes and more focused on uh, on the quality and subject of the episodes. Today... We're going to explain why everyone is an artist. Everybody. Everybody on the planet. All 9,622,348,021 people. Oh, 22. Sorry, someone just was just born. Uh, it, it moves that fast. Uh, yeah, why everyone's an artist and uh, uh, our need to express ourselves. We're going to get into that, which I'm kind of excited about because uh, I've been kind of mulling over this subject. Uh, as you guys know, we start up here and we move down into the depths of, uh, of the mindset because that's really where success comes from. It's not the things that you do, the hard work that you do. Most people think that uh, uh, success comes from hard work. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't come from hard work solely. It comes from your mindset and which leads into hard work. So it's important to understand that uh, how we're vibrating, uh, no pun intended, if there is one, uh, how we're vibrating is uh, going to determine the success rate for our, our hard work. So there's lots of people out there, I know a lot of people, of, uh, which I'm sure you guys do as well, that are very hard workers and they can't put two nickels together. It's just, it's just difficult. So uh, uh, that comes down to our ability uh, just adjusting the camera here, uh, to, to vibrate differently. So uh, we're going to talk about that. Uh, Chris Erickson, uh, good morning, Secret Car Club's event, Car Club, car club, car club events. You, you're, don't great multi, you're doing great multitasking, <laughs> Christine? Uh, certainly trying to. Not, uh, don't intentionally want to multitask too much because uh, you know how that goes. Your brain implodes and explodes at the same time. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, let's get into today's uh, book of the day. To start out with, we're going to go with Undersea Adventures, uh, which uh, this book is filled with. So if you're into coloring or you're doing some coloring, uh, we've had a lot of people order uh, this, this book specifically recently for some reason. Uh, it has octopus and uh, it has a sunken ship, I think, at the end. I forget what I put in here. Uh, yeah, there's the, uh, the USS Fireball that's gone down in flames. Uh, but a uh, couple of crustaceans that are kind of watching the house, making sure that things are okay. Uh, we're gonna go through a, uh, a pretty severe book overhaul, uh, which is happening here at Fireball Publishing. Uh, Coachman Cruise through the county Saturday at 4 p.m. Come on out. Uh, Craig, I'm gonna do what I can. I got a lot of stuff going on, but uh, uh, sounds like uh, gonna be cool. Uh, the the backs of all the books are going to show the books. Uh, we have a not only the Camaro book is coming out, but we have an all new custom car book. Which uh, uh, it, right now you can get the custom car book as it stands. Uh, you may want to get that because it's going to be a collector's item because it's going to be gone uh, and within the next two weeks or so, a whole new custom car book which is going to incorporate new sketches, uh, new cover, new everything. Uh, it's really going to be uh, going to be cool. It's going to come out. Uh, around yeah maybe just a little bit before the Camaro book and then we also have a hot rod book that's coming out too which uh uh in the next month or two i'm excited about that sketch of the day uh for the Camaro book and i showed you guys this i was playing around with this idea of a of a Camaro on top of a large tractor treads you know like a like a tank tread and from the front, you know, it kind of looked like that, you know. And I, I set that aside. I wasn't necessarily that inspired yet. And then I uh, started sketching out yesterday. Uh, I haven't uh, finished this yet, but this is kind of what it's led into. So these are the treads, and the car is going to be on top. So that's going to be a fun sketch. Uh, that's going in the Camaro book. Uh, the side view will be a Camaro, you know, as opposed to some random car. Uh, uh, and then, you know, as, as we get into today's episode, uh, our subject of why everyone is an artist, uh, it's important to, that, that artistry, as it has been uh, 
uh, cultivated for centuries, uh, has really uh, uh, impacted the way that we live our lives in many ways. Uh, you can go out and you can buy a mug, you know, to drink your coffee, right? Or you can buy something that's got something cool on it. Uh, this was a mug I did for the uh, the National Mill Dog Rescue. This says, black dogs are cool. So if you have a black dog, you know, you can appreciate that. Uh, this was actually a, uh, a, a sketch based on Sammy, who's not in here. No, she's not in here today. Uh, but, you know, as as an artist, you there's so many wonderful things that you can create that are applicable for people. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. They're trying to express ourselves and create something that, that people uh, uh, can use, right? That people can use. We're going to get into that. So uh, uh, for a future reference, my name is Fireball. I'm your host. This is Art Talk. We do this every weekday morning, uh, Pacific Standard Time at 8 a.m. here on Facebook Live. And uh, from Malibu, California, you can't really tell, but we are in Malibu. It's a little overcast today. One of the most beautiful places on the planet. I consider myself very fortunate and blessed to be here. Uh, but I have to thank my wife for that because when I met her, uh, she had been living in Malibu a long time. And, uh, you know, she wasn't moving out. So uh, if I was going to uh, have a relationship, I was going to be forced to move to this town. Ugh, terrible. Just a terrible thing that you have to do uh, to cultivate that. So um, uh, we did, and uh, we live a beach lifestyle, uh, which um, is, uh, we're very much outdoor people. So if you are, if you enjoy outdoors and the, the beach, uh, uh, and uh, we're going through all this virus stuff. Uh, you know, you it, it doesn't mean you, you can't go outside, you shouldn't go outside. Uh, you go outside and you take a mask with you, but if you if you can go out where the trees are and, and, and uh, you know, where there's not a lot of people around, you don't need to have your mask on. You don't need to worry about that because it's really about spewing personal droplets on people, you know. Uh, uh, Johnny Martinez posted something earlier on Facebook about uh, the analogy that if someone uh, walks around naked and they pee on you, you got to get pee on you. Right? That's just the way it goes. But if they wear pants and they, they pee on themselves, a little bit might come through and land on you. But if you wear pants, and if they wear pants, and then they pee, then then you're not going to get any on you. So that's pretty good. And that's pretty much the reason that we wear uh, the mask. So that you don't get any personal droplets on you. I don't know what's going to happen with kissing. You know, or just regular, regular talk later on. Uh, yeah, I'm just, you know... Just got to let it go. Just smooch away, people. Just, you know, let them have it. Uh, anyway, as the as the 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 scare, the fear of uh, virus stuff and all this stuff starts to uh, dissolve and disappear, uh, we'll be back to smooching. Yeah, we'll be back to, you know. I always felt that, that Hershey kisses, you know, little kisses, they should come up with a really big one and call it a smooch. I'm just giving that idea away for free. That's my my need to express myself because I would personally buy that because it's a lot more chocolate than, and I'd probably pay more than, than a Hershey's Kiss. Uh, and a, a Kiss, is, it's really more like a peck, right? It's not even like that much, you know? So it's, it's a, like a little kiss. It's no tongue kiss, right? You want, you want to get a little bigger one, you can use the tongue. You want to get a really big one, like, like this big, then that's a smooch. Yeah, full on, you know, going to town, people, as they say. Uh, Revo, Robert Smith, uh, I'm talking about kissing and to all these dudes. Uh, Steve Gelman, good morning. All just popping in for a sec, leaving now for a motorcycle ride up Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles. Best of all, you're going to have a blast. Um, uh, Angeles Crest is an amazing road. I used to um, ride my mountain bike uh, from the top of Red Box uh, down through the trails, waterfalls, switchbacks. It's about a four hour uh, bike ride coming down through the trails. Uh, and you land at JPL. It's an amazing bike ride if you guys have ever done it. So uh, 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 another way to express ourselves. Okay, so let's get into today why everyone is an artist. Everyone's an artist. Uh, if you uh, if you missed the first part of this, you can watch it again on Facebook once it gets posted after this live session goes uh, uh, wraps up. Uh, and then it also get post gets posted on uh, YouTube in perpetuity. So this will always be up. Okay, so why everyone is an artist? Um, we the first thing to understand is, you know, why are we here? You know, why are we on this marble on this planet, and and uh, uh, what's our purpose? Uh, and I believe very strongly our purpose is to express ourselves uh, creatively, uh, and and that can be done in infinite ways. Uh, and each one of us expresses ourselves through some type of artistry. Uh, it could be expressing ourselves through food, through clothing 
through uh, uh, eyewear. Uh, it can be expressing ourselves through makeup. Uh, we, we have to find that, that pathway, that expressive pathway for ourselves. And many of us have, uh, it can be in our 50s and 60s, we still haven't found that expressive pathway. Pathway. We've done a, a job because we've been conditioned to think that a nine-to-five job is the the way to go. We've had careers as engineers or different things, and and although that is expressive, um, uh, the the idea of a job uh, to make money is uh, is not necessarily a natural thing. It's something that is conditioned by society. A natural thing is something that you're inspired to do. Uh, now, you can get a, a job through that inspiration, and that's that's good, too. Uh, but if you want to express yourself uniquely in your own way, it's an entrepreneurial type of mindset, and it's a mindset to be able to create something specific for yourself and maybe be able to give that to the world in some way. Now, I have lived a pretty much 99.9% .9 of my life as a uh, independent contractor, as a uh, freelance um, uh, business builder, uh, in, not not a nine to five job. Now I did have a job at Disney at Walt Disney Imagineering for uh, about three years when I first got out of school, and I realized that that wasn't for me. It's not something that um, I literally had people come into my office and put their hand on top of mine as I was drawing. Uh, a little weird, a little weird. That didn't last long before I realized, yeah, there was one individual that was a. Uh, a little kooky, uh, but um, you know that that Disney employs artists, and uh, uh, there's a lot of artists out there that don't want to have to spend the time to uh, build their own business and to get clients, and a lot of a lot of the work that goes into creating that. I didn't shy away from that. That wasn't something that bothered me. But those of you that want to be artistic or want to be creative in your fields. And you feel that getting a job and having a nine-to-five job, of course, right now, nine-to-five job sounds like like a great idea because most people are not working right now. But that's going to change. It's going to change. And uh, hopefully it'll change sooner than later. But um, hold on. Let me turn this off here. I'm uh, competing with the sound of the heater. Yeah. Uh, so as as creative beings that we are, uh, and uh, uh, are, we have a need for expression, a desire for expression. And we can express ourselves through some type of artistry, whether you're painting or sculpting or drawing or, or uh, uh, whether you're cooking an amazing meal, you want to be a chef. Hi, Sammy. The door opens magically and the dog appears. Poof. She's not feeling that great today. I think she ate something bad and it's uh, given her a little tum-tum problems. I've had that uh, from time to time, as I'm sure you guys have. All you need is a good poop, and you're all good, right? So we're kind of waiting for that to happen, as long as it doesn't happen in my office. Uh, so our need, uh, our need for expression. Uh, uh, what is it actually that we're we're chasing? What is it actually that we want by being expressive? I understand that we cr we're creative, that we're here and meant to be creative, uh, but ultimately uh, we want to express ourselves. And when we express ourselves, there's a, there's a sense of joy that we experience, uh, that we've accomplished something, a sense of happiness. And that's really the thing that we're um, so-called chasing. But honestly, we're not really chasing it. We're just trying to experience it consistently uh, on a daily basis. We want, we want to be happy. We want to be happy doing the things that we, that we love doing. I'm going to take this a little bit. There we go. Uh, so if we are working towards happiness by doing these things, there is a sense that somehow we are not happy unless we do them, unless we can express ourselves creatively. Uh, but the truth is that it doesn't start there. We're not, we're not chasing something on the back end in order to achieve it. We'll never get it if we do it that way. Uh, the only way to do it is by understanding that happiness begets happiness, is that we're happy when we're expressing ourselves and we're happy with the end result. And if we're not happy with the end result, then we keep working towards the end result. As an example, if you cook a meal and you use salt instead of sugar, you know, you really screw up something, you're not happy with the end result, then you're going to refine what it is that you've done. And as long as you're not taking it personally like you're a bad person because you created a bad meal, uh, this is just your expressive, uh, your expressive mode at the moment, 
uh, that you're ultimately going to create a, a spectacular meal for yourself. And by creating that spectacular meal, you have invite some friends over and you give them this meal and they go like, God, this is great. You should start a restaurant. And you go like, huh, I would never. Oh, restaurant. Hmm idea, right? And then so uh, you decide, you know, what does it take to start a restaurant? Why would I want to start a restaurant? And uh, that might lead to more expression and eventually, boom, a year later, you find yourself opening a restaurant uh, and you have that meal in your restaurant. You got to teach your, your chef how to make it. Uh, all these things will happen and then suddenly it just does so well, this one dish does so well that you end up opening two a three, five, and then all of a sudden you're off and running. You have a, a whole business model. This is kind of how it works. Now, it doesn't really matter how you're expressing yourself. We all we are all artists. There isn't anyone on the planet that isn't expressive in some way. Uh, you can be building a house. Uh, you can be expressive with um, uh, gardening. You can be expressive with with infinite subjects. Infinite subjects. The the goal is to be able to find that thing. Uh, you know whether it's food, art, cars, travel, learning, business, clothing, uh, uh, products, even money. Uh, you can express yourselves with money. You can be very artistic about how you use your money. Uh, you can invest in uh, uh, stocks that provide dividends. You can ex you can invest in uh, real estate. You can invest. There's lots of creative ways that you can you can invest in somebody else. Invest in somebody's company. There's creative ways in which you can uh, uh, artistically use your money. So there. So art in itself, uh, by by definition, is expression is our ability to express ourselves, whether on a piece of paper or whether on a, uh, a three-dimensional object or in a business plan or however it works. So the important thing to understand is that there isn't one person on the planet that isn't an artist. We are all artists. Uh, and our goal as artists, as we identify ourselves, is to find that, that thing that really turns us on, the, the thing that really excites us, and then begin to take steps to express ourselves in that way, okay? So, um, but you gotta know you can. You gotta know that you can do this. Many people say to me, uh, oh man, I, they look at my work and they say, oh man, I wish I could do art. It's like, well, you can, you can. You're just not doing it, you know? You're not taking steps to express yourself that way. Uh, and uh, the thing is that there are, so, there are as many different types of art as there are uh, types of people on the planet. Right? There's infinite ways to be able to, to, to create macaroni and cheese. Right? I mean, uh, honestly, the, if you think about that, there the, you could add so many different kinds of cheeses. You could add so many different kinds of noodles. You could add uh, bacon, veggie bacon. You can add uh, celery. You can add uh, infinite things to make your own version of macaroni and cheese. Right? You even call it non-mac and cheese, mac and vegan cheese, um, Dr. Mac and vegan. It, it can come up with anything you want, right? So the important thing to understand is what is your way? What is the thing that you're going to do that you're most happy and excited to be able to express? And it's important that you begin to take steps to express that. But the first thing is you have to know where you're going. You have to know how do you want to express yourself? What do you want to express? Do you want to create mugs with cool images on them? You want to create clothing? You want to create... Uh, uh, you want to create a novel, you want to write a screenplay, you want to create uh, eyewear, you know, whatever it is. Now, if you're in your 50s and 60s, like some of us are, and we've uh, spent a lifetime doing a lot of things, uh, you may be at a point where you're going to, you're retiring and you're not going to be working anymore. That doesn't mean that you want to stop expressing yourself. You know, many people say, well, I'm going to retire. I just want to play with my grandkids. That's all I want to do. And that's great for about a year. And after about a year, you start getting that itch because on the days that you're not playing with your grandkids, you still want to stay busy and do stuff. And pretty soon you start creating uh, uh, metal sculptures or you start uh, chefing like Lawrence does. Uh, so, so there are many ways. Now, the thing about that is that once we begin to do that stuff and we get better and better at it, our job is to not only do it, to the best of our ability, but to find a way to share it with others. Now, you can share food with people by uh, giving them food and allowing them to eat it and experiencing that, and that's a great way to be able to share it. Uh, and you can also share it by maybe creating courses online of showing people how to chef, how to how to be there, express their chefness, you know, how to be a chefinator, right? So there are infinite ways in which people can can be a chef as well, right? You can make all kinds of different foods. You can wear all kinds of different outfits. And uh, you can even have your own TV show, right? Uh, if you guys have heard the story about um, the, there was a gentleman that came from Mexico and he absolutely loved dogs. 
and uh, he followed this, his uh, overwhelming passion for, uh, for dogs and teaching dogs and understanding dogs that he finally, uh, he came with no money. He came across the border, even illegally, with no money uh, quite a number of years ago and ultimately became a citizen and became a, a very well-known dog trainer. Uh, and he has a TV show now. He has a, and he has a show that's been on for quite some time. Uh, I forget his name. Um, maybe you guys can, when you guys can post. Um, I forget the name of the of the show, but he uh, he trains dogs for people, and he goes to people's homes, and he and he shows them how to do that. Now that's been going on for quite some time, but that's his expression. That's his expression. He loves dogs, and the the the, the germ there is love. Is that you got to follow that thing that you love. You got to find out what that that thing is. For me, uh, it's I don't necessarily love coloring books. I enjoyed coloring books as a kid, but I enjoy the the idea of creating a sketch that can be colorful and watching you guys to be able to create that. Uh, FYI, was trying to say you're doing great multitasking with doing this and YouTube, stupid smartphone. Much love. Absolutely, Christine, thank you so much. I just wanna make sure, yes, the dog whisperer. Thank you, Lawrence, that, that, great, great show. Uh, thank you, Christine. The, the, the point is to be able to make sure that you create content that uh, is up and is evergreen so that someone can watch it now or they can watch it in a year and they're still gonna get the same valuable information. Uh, so it's important that once you identify where you're going, what it is that you want, uh, that you, you have to begin where you are. You have to begin where you are. And if you're not sure how to do something, you can take classes. Uh, you can go online and learn pretty much anything on YouTube. I don't, I don't think that there's a, a subject that's not covered on YouTube in multitude uh, the, the hard part is finding a, a really good video in the sea of videos about how to be a filmmaker, about how to understand cameras, how to, how to take better pictures, how to be express yourself as an artist. Hello. Right here on Art Talk. You don't need to go anywhere else because it's right here, people, right? But you got to just begin. You got to start where you are uh, and you got to start taking chances. You got to start uh, investing in yourself uh, by the... the um, if you want to be a sculptor, buy the clay and start sculpting. If you want to be an, a, a painter, buy some paint. Uh, don't let the fear stop you. You want to be a chef, uh, go out and uh, determine whether you like making desserts or dinners or drinks or there's all kinds of things that you can create. Yes, AKA Caesar, Caesar Milan, exactly. So Caesar's story is very interesting. He, he uh, uh, made a true success out of what it is that he does that he loves and he loves dogs, but not just loving dogs. He loves the specifics of dog training. He didn't like dog collars. He didn't like dog hair. You know, there, there's a lot of different aspects of dogs, but he was very specific, dog training. I wanna be able to help people to uh, have a better experience with their dogs, right? And be able to, to bring dogs out of fear and into love. And that's what he does. And that's why he's become so successful. Uh, and you can do the same. It doesn't matter how old you are. You'd be 50, 60, 70. Uh, in five years, you could have your own TV show, right? If that's what you want, right? Uh, Ken Vela, an amazing example of someone who uh, builds cars as artistry, right? Don't you, Ken? Uh, the, the whole point in building a custom car, uh, not just restoring a car, which generally cars that are restored are are people that, that bring the car back to its an original state, and it's beautiful, it's a piece of art. Uh, it's kind of like restoring the Mona Lisa. But a different kind of expression when it comes to cars is to, to design something unique and, and something and add a little bit of your own self to it. Uh, this is what I do. This is my, my focus for designing cars for movies and for creating uh, cars for coloring books for you guys to be able to color. Good morning, Ken. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, now's the time. Now's the time. It's crazy, people. It's crazy. You can't go out to eat. There's so many things that you can't do. You need to find a way to express yourself to keep yourself busy and keep yourself happy. And now is an incredible opportunity. If you're not taking advantage of this opportunity right now to find ways to creatively express yourself, then you're missing the boat, people. You're missing the boat. You want to get out there and you want to express yourself as best you can as an artist. And you have to start again. You have to start where you are. But you got to have some faith and trust and understand the process. The process is that expression comes from within out. You don't sit and wait to be inspired. Okay? It doesn't work that way. When you're chasing inspiration, it doesn't show up. Okay? The way to be inspired is get busy doing what you can and allow inspiration to reveal itself. Okay? Big difference. 
Big difference, okay? Allow uh, inspiration to express itself by letting it go. Saying, I don't know what I want to do. And you keep chasing, oh, I got, yeah, I'm frustrated. I don't know what I want to do. It's like writer's block primarily comes from the fact that people say, I have writer's block. I don't know what to write. I have writer's block. And in those statements is the secret to their writer's block, right? Because that's what they affirm. That's what they tell the universe that I, I have writer's block. I don't know what to write. And so the universe is going to keep on giving them a block, right? But when you let it go and say, no, I'm not sure what to write. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let the universe do its thing. I'm going to allow uh, inspiration to unfold through me and outward and go busy gardening, go busy uh, uh, baking a cake, go busy uh, um, uh, on a bike ride, whatever it is, let it go. Let it go. Drop it completely out of your mind. Find some, a way to drop it completely out of your mind. And sure enough, inspiration will reveal itself and open up to you. Happens every time. Doing major house projects. Good for you, Lawrence. Actually, I've seen some of them that you've done online. Very cool stuff. This is Our Talk, episode 281. We do this every weekday morning, Pacific Standard Time from Malibu, California at 8 a.m. Wherever you are in the world, uh, I hope that you'll join us. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. We talked about uh, why everyone is an artist in the world and how to be able to express ourselves. Hopefully this was something that was of value to you guys. If it is, uh, I ask humbly that uh, that you share it on Facebook. Uh, tell your friends, anybody to come and join us, that not only can they watch Art Talk live on Facebook, but the rest of the day they can continue to watch the episode. And if they miss it and they want to go back and watch an episode we did a week ago, uh, they can go onto our YouTube channel, a Fireball Malibu Vlog or Fireball Tim on YouTube, and you can watch past episodes of Art Talk and uh, just pick a subject that, uh, that gels with you and uh, heading out to the Murphy. Oh, interesting. We'll have to talk about that. I'll give you a call afterward. All right, so uh, share this. Uh, pick up a coloring book, today's book. Once again, Undersea Adventures. We got 31 books. We got our new Camaro book coming as number 32. Uh, also, Custom Cars as a Redo, and Hot Rods are coming also. Very excited. And then the last thing is today, Kathy and I, we have uh, uh, been doing some Nintendo episodes. So Kathy's uh, been building mascot characters for the last 40 years. Uh, she did all the Nintendo characters. We're going to be sharing those Nintendo stories every Thursday. So we're going to be uh, putting up a video today, or maybe a first thing tomorrow morning, uh, of one of those Nintendo stories. Um, I think Animal Crossing if you guys ever watched or played Animal Crossing. We're going to get to that. Okay, have a spectacular day today, guys, and we will see you soon, as in tomorrow.